Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite Wet n Wild products. Um, now Wet n Wild is one of my favorite brands, definitely, definitely my favorite drugstore brand. It's kind of known for being um, inexpensive, um, like cheap, but um, their prices are very good and I will be saying prices in this video um, unless I don't know something and then obviously I can't tell you. Um, but my family is talking. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so they're really inexpensive, but um, their quality has gotten really good. And um, from what I've heard on YouTube, their quality didn't used to be so good, um, um, but they're really stepping up their game, and they are entirely cruelty-free. And some of their products are vegan, and I don't actually know all of the products of theirs that are vegan, but I will tell you which ones. Like, the ones that I have that I know are vegan, I'll tell you that they're vegan, but I don't know like if some of them are vegan, and I don't know. But anyways... Um, yeah, so I'm going to get started. Um, so yeah, the first favorite that I have are their Fast Dry ah, Nail Polishes, and these are all vegan, and I have six of them, and I plan to get more because I love them. Um, this is what they look like, the packaging at least. Um, these are new from their, like, 2011 line, um, and I'll show you all the colors. I have Hannah Pink Tana, which is more of, like, a purple with some like holographic glitter in it. How I Met Your Magenta, which is a hot pink with um, white micro glitter. Ebony Hates Chris, which is just a cream finish black. Grey's Anatomy, which is a like light gunmetal gray with a green and purple duochrome. The Wonder Yellows, which is like a metallic yellow. And 9021 Orange, which is an orange with gold glitter. Now, two of these nail polishes I actually haven't worn on my nails yet. And that is the Wonder Yellows and Hannah Pink Tana. Um, but all the other ones I've worn on my nails. The brushes look like this. Um, I don't really have any complaints about these nail polishes. They last pretty well on me. They're really, they're a great price. They're like $2, I think. Um, and they're just really good quality nail polishes, I think. And, um, they, they have a ton of colors and they're really beautiful. And all the names are really cute. So, um, the next favorite that I have are their 99 cent lipsticks. Um, they look like this. The packaging is really cheap looking. Um, and, like, that's one thing that I don't like about them. But, um... I mean, for 99 cents, what do you expect? They have, um, other ones that are, like, $2, $3, um, and they're the long-lasting ones, and I've only tried one of those, and I actually really like them, so I want to try more. Um, but so far, I really like these. I'll swatch all of them. This is the first one, and I have it on my lips right now, and it is a 502A, and it looks like this. The, ah! The texture of these is, um... I, I think it's really creamy and nice. Um, it's not like awful um, and it doesn't dry out my lips. So this color is like a rosy color with some gold. I have it on my lips right now. And then I have this color which is 547B and I don't really like this one. It's kind of like a light almost brownie color um, but like more of a pink I guess but kind of like a brownish pink, um, and both of those two colors are really frosty, um, and then the last one that I have is a hot pink, and it's, um, 521A, and it's a hot pink with kind of like a blue fluorescence to it, um, it's right there, um, and so I really like all of these, I wear them a lot, um, I have two MAC lipsticks, um, and I don't, like, find that these are, like, awful compared to those, um, I mean, the MAC lipsticks are better, but I mean, you're paying a dollar versus, like, however much MAC lipsticks are. Anyways. Um, my next favorite. I had four over here, and now I only have three. What in the world? Well, I will just describe the one that I don't know where it went to you. But, um, they look like this, and these are really flat right now, they all kind of need to be sharpened, um, but they're like, they're, um, the, 
Idle Eyes Cream Shadow Pencils. So they're kind of like NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils, um, but they're not really Jumbo. Um, the first one that I have is called Techno, I believe. Yeah, Techno um, 133, and it's like a purple, and it's a really gorgeous purple. Um, and then I have Graphite, which is a black. and Envy, which is green. And um, these do come with lids, they're just not on them right now. And then I also have Pixie, which is like a light kind of like highlight color. It's like a neutral highlight, light, frosty color. Um, and then there's also a blue one, and I think that that might be it, but I really want them to come out with more of these because I think that they're really good. Um, they're really creamy, they don't crease on me. Um, I like to wear these two, ah, these two as a pop of color under the lash line, but um, there is something that I want to say about this one, and this is the black one. These kinds of things, this goes for NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils too, are not eyeliners. They're cream shadows. They're marked as cream shadows. They're not meant to be eyeliners. So... When you put them on your waterline and you complain about how they don't last, they don't last because they're not eyeliners. They're not meant to last a long time on your waterline. They aren't waterproof. Um, they aren't meant to last a long time on your upper lash line. They aren't meant to sharpen to a point that it would make sense to put on your upper lash line. They're meant to be eyeshadows, um, and that would mean that you could use them on their own or as a base for other eyeshadows. I generally use this as a base when I'm doing dark looks. This is not an eyeliner. If you use it as one, then it's not going to last. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, that goes for NYX Jumbo eyeshadow, eyeshadow Pencils too, and any other cream eyeshadow. They aren't eyeliners. I've seen so many reviews of cream shadows where people are like, Oh, I put this on my waterline, and it didn't last for me. And it's because it's not an eyeliner. Anyways, my next favorite are um, these Color Icon blushes, and I don't think that these get enough love because I think that they're really awesome. Um, they're blushes. They come in packaging like this. They come with these kind of applicators, and I would never use this for my blush because it's so thin, like, just, it wouldn't work. Um, but they're really soft, and they're actually really well made, and I think that they'd be really good for, like, a highlight on your cheekbone. So I'm going to try them as that and let you know what I think about them. Anyways, these blushes are really, they're crazy pigmented. Like, let me show you. That's ridiculous. This is Heather Silk, and it's like a hot pink. And I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks. And then this one is pearlescent pink, and it's like a peach. Like, these are ridiculously pigmented. The way that I apply these is with a stippling brush, and I, like, dab it one, like, two or three times, and then I apply it to my cheeks, and then maybe I'll do that, like, one more time, and then I'll have all of the intensity, the intensity that I need. Um, a spring trend this year is bold cheeks, and I think that these are a must-have for that trend because they're pretty inexpensive, so you can kind of try it out without spending tons of money on a really expensive blush, and they're just so incredibly pigmented. Okay, so then um, something that you guys probably saw coming are the Color Icon eyeshadows. Now, they recently came out with their, um, by the way, these blushes are $3, and the eyeshadow pencils are 2 or $3. I think that they're $2. Anyways, um, these palettes came out, and they are the Color Icon 8 pan palettes, and I have the one in Petal Pusher and the one in Comfort Zone. The Comfort Zone one is like neutrals and Petal Pusher is like pinks and purples. There's also another one that's like blacks and blues, and I really want that one um, for like smoky eyes, um, but I don't remember what it's called. And these are all $5, so I think that's a really good deal because you're getting 8 eyeshadows for $5. And people have been talking about these eyeshadows on YouTube for since they came out, and they're amazing. Um, this is what they look like. I'll show you my favorite colors out of every palette. Um, um, I really like this one. And I really like this one. This one marked definer. The texture of this one isn't very good, actually. Um, let me get, like, a pigmented swatch for you. But, 
I've put it under my lash line and it's just so pretty. Um, I really like this color. That probably won't show up very well on my skin. But anyways, um, this palette I really, really, really do like. Um, and then there's this palette. This eyeshadow right here broke. I didn't actually use that much of it. Um, and it kind of got all over all of the other shadows. But I'll show you my three favorite shadows in here. Um, this one. This one. And this one. This one is really cool. It's like it has like it's like a brown with a blue duochrome. I really like these, and I've used it. I've been using this like every day for a while, um, and I really like it. So, but one thing that I've noticed is this eyeshadow right here is in like every one of their palettes. Like, okay, I'll just swatch it on all of my fingers so you guys can kind of see that it's all the same. So there's this one in Petal Pusher. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to swatch it. This one in Comfort Zone. This one in the trio in Silent Treatment. And this one in I'm Getting Sunburned. So as you can see, all of those colors are pretty similar. Um, I think that these two colors are exactly the same, and these two colors... Wait, no. These two colors are exactly the same, and these two colors are exactly the same, and then there's subtle differences between, like, these two. But for the most part, like, they're all pretty similar. Okay. There's definitely a difference in pigmentation, though. <sighs> this eyeshadow is definitely more pigmented than this one. But... I have stuff all over me. Anyways, um, but still, like, they're pretty similar. Um, I do really like this eyeshadow, though. This one right here. This one right here. But it is extremely, extremely soft, and it gets all over everything. And it breaks really easy, as you can see. It breaks really easily. Um... And that's really frustrating. Um, I'm a mess. Anyways, um, that's really, really frustrating. But um, I think that it's like... I don't think that it's like a gigantic like deal because I do think that it's a really pretty color and I like using it in my outer corner and on my lower lash line. But it is a factor. Um, all of these eyeshadows are pretty soft. That one in particular is ridiculous. Um, so... Like, you will get fallout, definitely, especially with some of the darker colors. Um, and you, you definitely want to tap off your brush and just be careful with the darker colors because they're so incredibly pigmented and so incredibly soft. Um, so, yeah, those are my favorite Wet n Wild products um, and a couple of little rants thrown in there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll probably do an updated one um, later when Wet n Wild comes out with more products and I try more products. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!